here again this year, 2015, and we now have an amazing team who've done all the work here, got it all done, works like clockwork, and it's it's become a, a really great day. People ask us now, you know, is we going to have potato day this year? And I am to buy some potatoes for the school gardening club. Wow, for the school gardening club. So have you chosen your potatoes yet? We're going to have a little bit of class. It's gone quite well. We've sold that one variety within the first hour and a half, and we've got two other varieties that are almost down to just what's left in the trays now. Great, yeah. and you've got a few hours to go as well. We're, still, yeah. we're here till three, so. <laughs> Trying to buy some pink fur apples, and they're all sold out. <laughs> I Apple day, uh, apple day? It takes <laughs> day. What spring season are we? <laughs> Potato is brilliant. Uh, it's excellent to see these uh, old varieties, organic varieties here. Uh, potatoes are so much a staple of the British diet and it's great that they're being sold here in Australia. Yes. Hi, I'm Claire. Uh, my aim today here at Potato Day is to get somebody to grow potatoes that hasn't grown them before. Even if it's just one potato that they take home. Um, I tell them if you plant one potato you get loads in return. I don't actually grow fruit and vegetables at all. In fact, my idea of gardening is to go out with a pair of secateurs or something bigger and lob things off, you know, the the jungle which passes as my back garden. I've been inspired by Potato Day. I've actually bought some salad potatoes and I'm actually going to give it a go. So I'm a total novice. I've come here today, I've got some advice. I think I know what I'm doing in the garden. So I'm, I'm going to give it a go, so yeah. I have um, a blight, slate blight on my allotment. So I grow my first early, second early on my allotment so they're done before the blight is a problem. And then I grow potatoes in sacks all around my garden. So usually about eight sacks and I'm just finishing off my harvest from last year. So what I do is buy proper potato sacks or use sacks with very good drainage. I fill them with homemade compost, I plant the potatoes and then I just wait. And they're absolutely delicious. What's this about growing potatoes in pots? What, what, how does that work? Right. Well, if you haven't got the space outside, like big allotments or anything, you can grow them in quite small quantities. Um, different varieties of potatoes. And we have a, a pot that's about that Ooh, yeah. the <laughs> two foot across yeah. and at least two foot deep. It needs, it needs the depth. And then you put some soil in compost and soil in the bottom. You can put your potato in really only two for the, a, a pot that size. So the if you put too many potatoes in, you get lots of little tiny ones, but if you just put one or two potatoes in, you get a better crop. And then as it grows, you keep filling the, the compost on top. Okay. And then you've got lots and lots of potatoes, and it's like a mining for treasure. <laughs> get plant the year before and then we find a really nice variety and this is great we'll buy it that next year and then we can't remember what it is but I think it's Cara so that's what I'm going to go for this year.